Montpellier. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Al Zabara Trophy. A slow beginning for AJS Wathanan. Through the very early stages towards the outside, Shiris is sent on by Eddie Pedroza, and Shiris has claimed the early lead. Around the outside, Merdi will give chase in second, with Sea line up against the inside rail. AJS Wathanan, who blew the beginning, is rousted along round the outside to try and press the pace. Ishfak is next to the field, followed by Enab, and the back marker is AJS Al Mohib as they make the turn, racing now on towards the final. 1400 meters and it's last year's runner-up Shiris who's out in front by two lengths to Merdi racing in second ridden along AJS Wathanan on the outside of Sea Line in third and fourth on the outside Enab is racing in fifth last year's winner Ishvak is in sixth but unhurried in the hands of Harry Bentley that the back of the field is AJS Al Mohib as the field goes through halfway in the fifth running of the Al Zabara Trophy and it is still Shiris who is out in front stretching the field going clear by two and a half lengths Merdi is in second three lengths away to Sea Line in third Ishvak now beginning to be squeezed along to close in fourth Enab is on the turn in fifth. AJS Wathanan and AJS Al Mohib are struggling at the back of the field as they make the turn on inside the final 600. And Shiris still has the lead, reduced now to only a length and a half. But Shiris still in control to Merdi racing in second. Sea line in third. Ishfak now being pushed along vigorously by Harry Bentley, urged to close. AJS Al Mohib is also staying on. Shiris Shiris still has the lead. Merdi now comes up and goes alongside. It's Merdi and Ronan Thomas who have taken the lead. Sea line now gives chase in second. Shiris in third. Ishvak not today. It's Umkhan one and two. But who will it be as they race up towards the line? It's too close to call. It's maroon and white who win of Umkhan. Merdi number five is the winner. Second number six, Sea line Third. Number seven, Shiris. It is on the far side with the maroon and white spotted cap. Ronan Thomas and Merdi have won by a nose, beating Sea Line into second, unofficially 5 6 7. Here we see the close-up of the drive to the line once again. Merdi winning for the third time in just eight career starts. And what a tremendous result for the mayor, Jal Jala, who dropped both of these horses, Merdi and Sea Line, both half-brothers. Merdi by Majed Al Arab and Sea Line by Aima. But a real family affair.
So now we come to the presentation for the eighth and final race on day one of the Amir Sword Festival 2020. And delighted to welcome to the presentation podium Hamad bin Abdul Rahman Al Ataya, president of the Qatar Equestrian Federation. And I'd like to first of all congratulate the winning rider on Mehdi Ronotoma. It was a thrilling finish fought out by two half-brothers, and the younger Mehdi just nosing out the older sea lion, both of them trained by Alban de Miel. And both horses bred and owned by Umquan, and representing Umquan Farms, please, Give a very warm welcome once again back to the presentation podium, Abdullah Al Kabezi, the racing manager of the Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club. And that is quite a memorable print. And I'm not even sure it wasn't a little bit closer than that. Just a nose separated the brothers at the line. That is very much one for keeps. Mehdi defeating his brother Sea Lion in the feature race on day one, the Al Zubara Trophy. Thank you very much indeed for your company today. I hope you've enjoyed some quite fantastic sport, an excellent finale to the day for Alban de Mule and the Umquan team. Al Shahania Farms with three winners today, uh, landing the bulk of the spoils and back to do it all again tomorrow in the company of Mark Johnson and Emma Spencer.